2011 Ford Taurus SHL. I'm going to change out the thermostat from the stock temperature to 170 degrees Fahrenheit. I've just got various 8 millimeter tools here, a few different ratchets um, to take out these two bolts and disconnect the rest of this portion just after the air box here. Here's a thermostat. It's not going to look any different than any other one. Um, it should go in this way with this O-ring on the outboard side. The housing is right down here. And then I took the underbody cover off of the vehicle and I have maybe two, I don't know, 18 to 30 inch containers down there hoping to catch as much fluid as possible. Normally I put my tray out there, but there's some stuff on it right now. And uh, I'll see if I can do anything with this funnel, maybe to help steer some of that. And a big, dirty old sweater as a as a rag. So all I'm going to do is remove these bolts. Again, I have a a different intake probably than most people. And everything here should be eight millimeter. I do have. A torque wrench out also because we'll have to torque everything on the thermostat housing down at eight foot pounds. Disconnect the sensor here too. Out there. All right. Goes the air box. I'll actually clean this out. It's really just spray it down with simple green cleaner and rinse it from the inside out. I'm not going to make a, a video for that. Here's the housing. Should be three bolts. One, two, or maybe it's only two. So before I continue with the video, I'm going to look around and see if there's a way to route this funnel uh, once I pop that off and try to steer some of this. So it's not pretty, but none of my funnels were going to work. So I drilled a half inch hole into this cap and started cutting this guy up. I basically just used snips. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to crush it into this crevice so that when I pop this open, this will at least be able to steer down that way through here uh, some of the fluid. And if it doesn't work, I mean, it's about five minutes of my time. So, so I got a wrench on there, um, the eight millimeter. Looks like it's only the two bolts, and I'm not planning to catch everything in this plastic container, but anything I can get is less for me to clean up. So, let's see how it goes. When this opens up, there shouldn't be a lot of coolant coming out from here, but when I pop the thermostat off, you should get a pretty good rush. Those sounds are just the plastic that I put here to catch the fluid. I did end up having to grab a longer hose and it's pretty much going to shoot straight into a tub I have underneath there. Off for recycling. Alright, let's see what kind of mess we get here.
All right, I got my tub kind of positioned under there. Uh, we'll see how this goes. So I can pull this out the can. Nope, I'm just gonna get a screwdriver in there, try to pry it. start the video. I got a few different screwdrivers here. I'll start with this 90 degree. See if I can catch the lip of this. There we go. Came out, but uh, I didn't pull it all the way. Oh, we're leaking. So I didn't catch it all, but this is grabbing it and steering it down that way. So I get to use my big rag as a cleanup later. I'm just trying to meter the flow. Oh, so I don't overflow it like that. for a minute. So this was the tool I used and it was this end. Not necessarily what I recommend, but it worked today. Here's the old thermostat and the old O-ring, which this is less of an O-ring and more of a an actual gasket, but the new one has an O-ring. So I'm going to set this aside. Just gonna do a quick look, see if it's centered. I know I can't tell on the camera. Looks pretty good. You know, let me finagle this because there's still coolant in it out of the way, and uh, I'll start when I'm tightening again the video. Okay, so there was still a little bit more mess. 
I was trying to capture as much of the fluid as I could so I could just measure what came out and put a you know similar amount back in. Um, you have to push against the housing as your hand starting the threads. I already got these bolts hand started. And then I'm just gonna tighten them a little bit until they start to feel snug and go back and forth. And um, these go to eight foot pounds or on this torque wrench, it'd be 96 inch pounds. I'm only doing this to try to even out. There we go. The pressure on that O-ring. Not a lot of torque. So I'll clean all this up. I'm not going to continue with the video for that. There's also the putting the intake back in, but again, I'm going to clean that air filter. I'm not going to do a video for that one either. Uh, I will have to refill some coolant in the reservoir. So I've got the, the unmixed Ford Green, which was the OEM specialty coolant. It says VC10A2. So I'll do 50-50 distilled water. Uh, I think the procedure is you run, run the vehicle at idle for 10 minutes, loosen the cap up afterwards, and once it cools down, um, Fill it, and then you do 2,500 RPM for 10 minutes. So I'm not going to do a video of that. Um, and then I'll check it after a few drives. All right.